Hey, what's happening, everybody? It's your old pal, Mr. Butter, coming back at you again. Today, I want to get into a pair of SB Dunk Lows that I grabbed from the Sneakers app probably a couple of weeks ago, but life has just been crazy. Now, I want to get into them with y'all. If you're into kicks and you feel like hanging out, then hit that subscribe button. Let's take a look at these SB Dunk Lows in the Phantom Hyper Royal colorway. So like I said, I grabbed these from the sneakers app. It's crazy because I think I've picked up four or five SB Dunk Lows off of sneakers all for retail this year. Prior to last year, I think I only had one pair of SB Dunk Lows in the collection. Last year, I probably picked up four or five pairs. And now this year, I've already picked up four or five pairs. I don't think this is quite the same as how the hype kind of died off for Jordan 1s. With the Jordan 1, all of a sudden, everybody acts like they're gross. But with SB Dunk Lows, there's still a very loyal following to them. I still love Jordan 1s, but I'm talking about what you hear from the masses. There's still a whole lot of people that love SB Dunk Lows. I, for one, am very pumped that they're as attainable as what they are. I don't know that I'll continue buying every release, but if it's a colorway that I don't have and it looks like the materials are pretty good, I'll be going after it. Another thing that I love is even if you strike out for retail for SB Dunk Lows now, the resale prices are really reasonable. So I hope that continues. I don't know how long it'll stay like this. We know everything comes in waves and cycles and that kind of thing. But for the time being, I am loving the fact that I was able to build up a little SB Dunk Low collection because for years they were pretty hard to get. Anyhow, we have a standard Nike SB box. It's just the purple GR box. The tag reads Nike SB Dunk Low Pro. The colors are Phantom, Malachite, and Hyper Royal. I went with the size 10 and a half. I always go up a half size on SB Dunk Lows just because I have wide feet and they're too tight if I don't. And then enough talking about the box and that kind of stuff. Here they are. These colors are so bright. A lot of times whenever you get suede for the upper of a shoe and it's a real rich color like this, sometimes it looks almost ashy and like a little bit faded or whatever. But this blue, a lot like the Royal Reimagined Jordan 1 Highs, this blue is a very nice bold color and it doesn't look like it's faded or ashy or anything like that. I think these look really good. They look really vibrant. And I love the way that the gum outsole looks on the bottom of here. I just think that's such a cool touch. I also really like the way that green stitching looks in the midsole. I think that's a cool touch as well. I'm not sure if this pair was kind of in a pack with the other pair that people were calling the Leonardo's which was a royal blue and green SB Dunk Low. I don't know if those two pairs were released together as a pack. I know that skate shops around the US have been getting these for a while before they ever released on sneakers. And I think they were pretty easy to get. I'm not sure if this is part of a pack with those Leonardo's or not. If you know, then let me know. But there's a lot of things that just seem similar, like the color of stitching going along the base and just that green and blue color that they use, along with the fact that the entire upper is just a really nice suede. No matter what color you're looking at, the suede on this upper is a very premium feeling material. I really love that phantom color. It's like a light tan, maybe even with like a hint of a grayish tone to it. But I think it makes these very versatile. I think you'll be able to throw these together with just about any outfit. I mean, you throw on jeans and a t-shirt and these and you're all set. I like it whenever a pair of shoes is just easy to throw in with your wardrobe and you don't have to think about styling it too hard or anything. These came with the phantom colored SB style lace already in the shoes, but they also gave us some spare green SB style laces. I like how they gave us a different color for the lace tips. On these phantom colored ones, they're green, and on the green laces, they gave us blue tips. We have a standard SB Dunk 
tread pattern here for the outsole and as i already said i really love having this gum material on the outsole this traction is very similar to standard dunk traction patterns but they did make just a couple of changes to improve the traction for the sb series one thing that jumps out at me is different is just the stars on that pivot point and of course this being an sb dunk you do see that foam kind of peeking through the outsole. Coming up from that gum outsole, it does look like this midsole has a little bit of a tint to it. I wouldn't call it sail, but it's definitely an off-white. I love that green stitching that we have going through that midsole. And then my favorite thing about this pair is just the materials that we have for the upper. Like I already noted, every color that you see has a really premium feel to it. It's not a real long-haired suede, but you do get some back and forth motion on it, especially on the blue material that we have. Not sure if you can see that color shift or not, but if not, just take my word for it. Here on the toe box, we have perforations like we always see. We also see that blue color for the side panels. And then here on the heel near the collar where we have those rows of stitching. We have this nice off-white grayish tan phantom color for all the overlays aside from the swooshes. And we see this on the mug guard going up the eye stays, wrapping around the base of the heel. And then also up here where we have our Nike branding. For the swooshes, we have a nice green suede, and again, it has a really nice feel to it. It's a really thick cut, and I just gotta tip my hat for the materials they used in this. The tongue is a little different than what we're used to getting. It almost has like more of a mesh feel to it, and it's in that nice hyper royal blue color. The piping going along the edges matches that phantom material that we have for the overlays and then the laces and we have an off-white tag with some nike sb branding in green it looks like our sock liner is more of that off-white or maybe even that phantom color and then our insole is the same green that we had for the swoosh and it's got some zoom and nike sb branding down on that that was a pretty quick look at these SB Dunk Lows. I am a little bit late on this review, but we just got done track season. The end of the school year is winding up, so we've just been running like crazy. But anyhow, let me know what laces you would use in these. If you would keep them as is, or if you would throw that extra set of green laces in there. Either way, I think they look really nice. I hope this continues. I hope we keep seeing SB Dunk Lows be accessible to the masses. And even if we strike out, maybe they'll continue to be affordable on the resale market. I don't know if that'll stay long term, but as long as it's like this, I'll definitely be building up my SB Dunk Low collection. Let me know what you all think about these, and I will catch you on the next one. I'm out.